I've got to pretend to talk, otherwise, you know. Shabadinga, sawabinga, no, 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 no. Well, I'm not even looking in the lens. Where is the, not the lens, the camera light. What's it called? Hi guys, my name's Lewis Turner. I'm 17 years old and a ton of my friends recently have been making YouTube videos and so I thought I would kind of maybe do the same. So I've got nothing to do in quarantine and my life's pretty boring at the minute. So, you know, what can you do? So in today's video, I thought I would just answer a few questions, tell you guys a little bit about me. And if you're interested, if you like it, you know, maybe you'll subscribe, maybe you'll like the video. If you don't, leave some hate comments down below and I'll be sure to read them. Constructive criticism, we love that. I'll answer some questions. Let's get right into this. Let's just find the app. So the first question is, if you weren't an actor, what would you be? And this comes in from an anonymous person because all of these questions are anonymous. You guys do not know this, but I'm an actor. That's right, I'm an acting boy. I'm currently studying to be an actor at college. It's pretty fun, one might say, and it's where I want to be in the future. If I weren't an actor though, is it weren't or wasn't? I generally have no clue. If I wasn't an actor, I think it's wasn't. This person's wrong. If I wasn't an actor, then I would like to be a singer or a model just because. I like that stuff. The second question is, what is the best moment of your life? The best moment of my life, I would say my 16th birthday party, me, my dad, and my sister's boyfriend, we all went to play some snooker. When we came back from playing snooker, turns out there was a surprise party waiting for me, and that was pretty epic. I enjoyed it quite a bit. It was fun. Biggest inspiration in acting. My biggest inspiration in acting is Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill plays Superman in Man of Steel, BVS, Justice League. Recently, this hasn't been confirmed, but there's like a rumor going around that he's gonna be playing Superman again. If that turns out to be true, then I'm the most jazzed guy on earth. So I hope that's the case. He's one of my biggest inspirations because he's just one of the most genuine people on earth. He's really inspiring in the gym. And you guys might not be able to tell, but I'm a gym enthusiast. Would you like to see my bicep? I think you would. Are you ready? B. Oh, think about that, I know. Wild. In your opinion, who is the best, not your favorite, but who is the best artist of all time? So it could be an actor, a musician, or a painter, anything like that. I'd say the greatest artist is probably Vincent van Gogh. There was this movie that I watched on Netflix last year called Loving Vincent. The entire film was filmed on a regular camera I believe, but then each frame was painted. Apparently it's pronounced Van Gogh. Because of course, isn't he, what is he, like Dutch? Or something? Yeah. Don't tell me he is Dutch. No way. Yeah, he's Dutch. No way! But the movie was really beautiful, it was really inspiring. And if you haven't seen Loving Vincent, then I will not leave a link to it down below, because I don't know how to do that. But find it. It might still be on Netflix, I don't know. Next question is, why? I don't know. Favourite Taylor Swift song and why? My favourite Taylor Swift song is All Too Well. All Too Well, I actually believe, won the, I think it was Billboard or Rolling Stone magazine. One of them named All Too Well the greatest song of the decade. Taylor Swift was named Woman of the Decade. She was named something else and something, she, she's epic. I forgot them all, I'm sorry. Top three movies of all time. Also, what is this YouTube gonna be called? I was thinking to call this YouTube something like edgy, you know, something cool. When I was in year eight, I made a YouTube channel, which I gave up with instantly. And my channel name was Lewis Turner Prime. So I was thinking, let's call this Lewis Turner Prime. But then I realized, no, that's weird. Maybe I'll call this Lewis Turner. My top three movies of all time, either Back to the Future or La La Land. They're either one or two. And then in third, we have The Perks of Being a Wallflower, one of the most underrated films of all time. Back to the Future or Star Wars. Explain. I love both Back to the Future and Star Wars, two of the greatest franchises ever. Star Wars, not so much in recent years, but Back to the Future, even the second one, which in my opinion is the worst one, I still think is quite fun. I would say Back to the Future is better than Star Wars, mainly because the consistency between the three films is a lot stronger than the consistency between, what was it? There's nine episodic Star Wars films, two spin-offs, one animated film. So I'd say the consistency in Back to the Future is a lot stronger. What inspired you to go into acting? I actually have no clue really what inspired me to go into acting. I've just always really liked it. But when I was in year two, my sister Lily just said to me, hey Lewis, 
come to drama club with me. So I did, and I enjoyed it. They were grabbing my cheeks and saying, oh my God, he is so cute. And I was like, please leave me be. They did not. I also used to make little plays in my living room for my mum, my dad, and my aunt, and we enjoyed that quite a bit. I think it's just always been in me. What's your favorite pizza topping? Pepperoni, done. What's your dream job? Guess. Not a question, but please do a room tour. I would love to do a room tour. That could be something that I would like to do. If this video gets one like, maybe I'll do that. One like, I'm, I'm pushing for that one like. This isn't my room right now, by the way. This is just a space, because it's comfy and apparently this lighting's good. Do you know what? I'm questioning it. So, those are all the questions that I answered. I hope you've gathered some insight into me. I don't want to leave the video yet. I want to end it on a high note. So, I'm going to, I'm going to read you guys an extract from Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. This is the book here. I've never actually read it. I hope you guys enjoy this little extract. I'm going to read as much as I can and I will stop as soon as I start to stutter. Let's begin. The White Room. I've read many more books than you. It doesn't matter how many you've read, I've read more. Believe me, I've had the time. In my white room, against my white walls, on my glistening white bookshelves, book spines provide the only colour. Books are all brand new hardcovers, no germy secondhand soft covers for me. They come to me from outside, decontaminated and vacuum sealed in plastic wrap. I would like to see the machine that does this. I imagine each book travelling on a white conveyor belt towards rectangular white stations where robotic white arms dust, scrape, spray and otherwise sterilise it until it's finally deemed clean enough to come to me. When a new book arrives, my first task is to move this... We're done! Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I've had a great time. Hope you have too. Do all that stuff I told you to do. If you don't, I'll be very angry, but you know, we move. My name's Lewis Turner. I will see you next time.